Google AI Studio is one of the best things that happened until now. Forget DeepSeek, forget ChatGPT. Well, it's Google. I was amazed when I found out about this stream real time. Now, what does this mean? Well, you can share your screen to show Gemini what you're working on. And it's just, it's amazing, honestly. If I click on this, It'll ask me, of course, to allow page to see my screen and I'll just click on entire screen here and then I'll just click on allow. And then, of course, I'll just allow the microphone as well and just have a look at this. So hello, Google. OK, I see you. Hello. I never used Google Sheets before, so how can I find it? I see you have never used Google Sheets before and you'd like to know how to find it. I don't have access to the internet and can't help you directly with that, but I can provide general guidance. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. What do I have to do? How can I find Google Sheets online? Typically, Google Sheets is accessed through a web browser. Do you have a Google account? If so, you would usually go to the Google Apps menu, which is often a grid-like icon near your profile picture, and select the Google Sheets icon there. Is that something you would like to try? Okay, is this Google Sheets? Based on what you have shown me, it looks like you are already in a Google Sheet. Do you need further help with it? Yeah, I put some numbers here in the column B and I want to have a sum of these numbers. What should I do? I just want to click on something. Yes, that is a Google Sheet. You have entered some numbers in the first few rows. Is there anything in particular you would like to do in your Google Sheet? I would like to have a sum of these numbers in this B section. To sum those numbers, you can click on an empty cell where you want the sum to appear. Then type equals sum b1, b3, and press enter. The sum of those numbers will then be displayed. Is this something you want to try? OK, is this what I have to enter? OK, it looks like you've already started typing the formula. If you press enter, the sum of 23, 22, and 21 should appear in that cell. Is that what you want to try? Yes, that is exactly what I wanted to try. Okay, now that was amazing. For me, it was amazing. But yeah, I can agree that Google Sheets is maybe too simple and too basic. So let's just try with something else. Okay, now I'm in Premiere Pro. Can you see it? Yes, I can see that you are in Premiere Pro. Is there anything specific you would like me to focus on in the video? I want to zoom in on a car's lights. How can I do that? To zoom in on the car's lights, you can use the scale property in the motion controls of your Premiere Pro video clip. Would you like me to explain in more detail how to do this? Yes, I would like you to explain in more detail. How can I do this? OK, to zoom in on the car's lights using the scale property, first select your video clip in the timeline. Then, in the effect controls panel, locate the motion section. Within motion, you should see a scale property. To zoom in, increase the numeric value of the scale property. For instance, if the value is at 100, you could try 120 to zoom in slightly or perhaps 150 to zoom in more. You can adjust this value as needed to get the desired level of zoom on the car lights. Does that make sense? OK, I did it. Thanks a lot for your help. OK, so what does this mean? Well, first of all, this means that you can become an expert in whichever tool you want. Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, AI agents, automations, e-commerce, Shopify, you name it. Now, one step forward, you can become so much good at all these tools that you can teach other people how to do these things. For example, if you just focus yourself on Premiere Pro, you can make yourself YouTube channel, Instagram channel, TikTok channel, whatever, you name it. And you can teach other people to do it and get use for it. There's a lot of people doing the exact same thing, but these people had to learn Premiere Pro inside out in order to teach other people how to do it. Now you can learn and teach yourself what Google helps, and then you can create videos on it. Now, what I suggest is that you focus on YouTube Shorts because that's going to take less of your time, or maybe TikToks and Instagram Reels. What Google's help. You can become an expert in whatever you want. But hey, Google AI Studio, it's only one option. This is by far the best option for me because you can gain audience for yourself with credibility in all these tools that it understands. So you can just open up whatever. I invite you to try it out. It's free to use. Just open whichever software you think it might use and then just go and ask it questions. Now, 
the second step that you have to do if you want to go this way is to record your screen with something just like OBS. This is what I'm using right now. You can just Google for it. It is called OBS. It is short for Open Broadcaster Software. And this is how it's going to look like. You just download it for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, whatever you use. And then it'll just record your screen. And then, of course, you can make tutorials just like these here. Now, of course, it's not a get rich quick scheme. It will depend on you and your consistency and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's a good way, good opportunity if you want to make something long term. If you want to do something which is more faster and you just want to get some money out of it really fast, well, second option is content creation. Because when you just open up Google AI Studio, you can just Google for this one as well. You've got a lot of models here. And there's this Gemini 2.0 Flash, which is top of the pops, right? This is one of the best image generation models. I haven't tried this ChatGPT one, which came out yesterday and I'll just make a video on it especially and this one is free to use as well. Now there's a lot of you know examples here for example you can just go with these croissants and for example you put a picture there whether you took it yourself or whether you just download it online and then you can edit the picture with the text right so no Photoshop whatever you can edit images for other people now for this you can use fiverr you can use upwork whatever there's a lot of people who need images photoshopped worked on whatever and you can just use natural language prompts inside of google ai studio in order to make it better for example on this one i don't like the intensity of chocolate on these so the next step for me it would be can you make chocolate drizzle or just like this, can you make less chocolate chocolate drizzle? Just like this. Then you click on this run, or you can just click and use control plus enter. And then of course, it's just gonna give you the result like this. Now, somehow I think it's way more chocolate now. So I'll just repeat this one. I'll just go with less chocolate this time, but it looks good now as well. And this one is even better, I think. Now the next option is the visual story here. Now, this will generate a story with images, but what I love about this one is that you get the story here and you get the character consistency. So this character, this goat in this case now, is the same in every picture. So in the whole story, the goat will be the same. So this goat, as you can see, it went for a ride along the farm, whatever, and the character is always gonna be the same until the end, you know, until it comes back to his mommy or whatever. Now, I found really, really good use case for this one if you wanna make some stories for kids. And of course, you can use AI voiceover such as Eleven Labs or whichever one of these AI voiceover tools you want. And then you can just make yourself a YouTube channel about this one as well, or TikTok or Instagram, whatever you'd like to use. Now, character consistency is something that is very hard, whichever one of these image generation tools you use. And with this visual story, well, it's just gonna keep the same character all the time, right? You don't have to do anything special. In this case, it's just generate a story about a white baby goat going on an adventure in a farm in a 3D cartoon animation style. For each scene, generate an image. Later on, of course, you can use Canva in order to just make this better, to just edit it out a bit. And eventually it's just gonna look like something like this. Now, if you don't wanna make yourself a YouTube channel or something, there's a lot of demand for this on Fiverr, on Upwork, wherever. And you can see that there's not a lot of results. This means that this market is not too saturated. But on the other hand, if you check some of these channels, like this Snuggle one, it has only 27K subscribers. You can see that this is a popular niche as well. And they just use pictures. As you can see from these, it's just a picture, which is just zooming out or zooming in or just going over the screen. All of these videos are made like this one. And by the way, this Snuggle one with only 27K subs is getting $4.4 thousand dollars per month, right? So it's way more than that. I found that Social Blade like tends to underestimate, but even this like $4.4 thousand dollars per month and you get all of this content for free, well, it's a good return on investment, right? Now there's a lot of more models here and there can be focused on writing. They can be focused on coding. They can be focused on whatever you want, but 
Google is one of the best things now until something new comes out. You can do a lot of things and you can do it for free. That's the most important part for me. So what I recommend to you is that you go and explore. Just explore the platform, play with it for a few days. Just see the possibilities with this one. And then a lot of opportunities will open up to you. And of course, it's gonna depend on what do you like? What are your interests? If you wanna create content, just go with that. If you wanna create these tutorials, just go with that. But after all, it's all gonna depend on you. The tool is there. AI is a wonderful thing that happened to us. So you've got the tools. All that you miss is some consistency, some willpower in order to make something for yourself. But trust me, just disappear for two to four months. Work on it. Develop a strategy for yourself. And a lot of doors will open to you. It's not rocket science, whatever you want to do. All these people that you see online that are successful, they're just consistent with it, right? They just work every day. So don't ask yourself, what do you want to do in life? Just ask yourself, what do you want to do in a day? So what are you going to do today? What are you going to do every day? If you want to be a YouTuber, yeah, it's good to see and think like, oh, I can live in Dubai, I can do whatever. But you know, what am I going to do today? It's eight hours of work. It's just exploring, researching, scouting out the competition, and now using AI tools. It's easier than ever if you want to be successful online. You know, there's so much attention out there. So, yeah, just go and explore and stick to it, right? You can do it. I'll catch you in the next one.